Mechanical assemblies are collections of interconnected parts, such as gears, cams and levers, that move in conjunction to achieve a specific functional goal. How things work visualizations use a variety of visualization techniques to depict the operation of complex mechanical assemblies. In this paper, starting with a 3D CAD model of an assembly, we first geometrically analyze the motions of individual parts and the interactions between the parts. Then we use this information to generate how things work style depiction. First we analyze each individual part. We identify parts with symmetries, namely rotational, translational and helical. Based on the symmetry information, we further identify parts with conical and cylindrical profiles by fitting quadric surfaces on the side segment of them. We organize the motion relations using an interaction graph, where nodes represent individual parts and edges their mutual contact relations. Using the contact and per-part symmetry information, we classify motion interaction between parts into types, including cylinder on cylinder, bevel gear, coaxial, worm gear and cylinder on plane. For details, please refer to the paper. The user then indicates the driver and we transfer the motion to other connected components using a breadth-first graph traverse algorithm. Motion arrows are created based on the interaction graph. Based on relations represented by the graph edges, we add arrow pairs for each motion interaction between parts, placing the arrows near the contacts. We add extra arrows for coaxial parts and also for parts with large maximal side face. Initial arrow placement can be occluded due to other parts. For non-contact arrow, we optimize their positions to improve their visibility. Now we present some results and interaction sessions of our system. First we perform geometry analysis to construct the interaction graph. The user selects the driver and we compute the motion for the assembly. We then compute the arrows as described before and extract the causal chain sequence. We expect the user to tag parts without distinguishing geometric features. In this case, the user selects and tags the sticks as levers. Then the system computes the motion and generates the arrows. The same assembly can behave differently, depending on the constraints on its parts. In this configuration, the user fixes the outer rings. For better visibility, we also produce exploded views while respecting the contact relations. For periodic motions, we use the extremal positions of translational parts to create keyframes. In this example, we see an example with contact edge that appears and disappears over time. Here are some more examples.
Thank you for your attention.